Hey everyone, Matt here. I'm taking a brief look at Complete Control's newest update, which allows for advanced control over an amazing DAW, Cubase. So Cubase now joins the likes of Logic, GarageBand, and Ableton Live as a DAW that can be controlled via this Complete Control keyboard. So you can do all the necessary things like transport controls, looping, metronome, quantizing, automation, undo, redo, mixer controls, so I can come in and adjust certain elements of my track without thinking about it or without mousing around, soloing, all the kind of controls that you would imagine. So it's very easy to use and very easy to set up. So let's talk about the setup. Essentially, you update Complete Control via native access. You run Complete Control as a standalone, which will then prompt you to upgrade the firmware of the hardware. And then you open up Cubase and start going. It's literally that easy. I didn't have to do any other setup other than that. If you find yourself needing to do some more setup because it's not working properly, just come into the devices under device setup and make sure that the Control S series is set to DAW1. And then you can see all the controls right here. So these controls are all just the essential stuff. As I mentioned before, the mixer section, not having to like kind of go in with the mouse and do all that. Beautiful. So what can we do? Well, we can use the four-way encoder to scrub through our audio very easily. You can also go ahead and uh, turn loop on and off, which is important. And if you hold down loop and then turn the encoder, you can essentially just move this loop bracket to wherever you need. So maybe I want to put it at the front and find a way to start writing uh, some more intro to this track. So what I've done is loaded up a couple tracks here. As you can see, if you click up and down on the four-way encoder, you can access the different tracks. So for instance, I have an instance of complete control loaded. So I'm just going to go ahead and find a native instruments sound. We'll go ahead and use something like rounds. And one thing I absolutely love is since complete control Mark II came out, you have this great feature of being able to kind of come in and hear the auto results. You know, you can get a sound browser preview of each preset, which is huge because you have thousands and thousands of presets. It's a good way to find out an exact sound that you would like. So if I want to start writing, it's as simple as just kind of loading up a sound. And what I can do is turn on my metronome so I can hear. And for instance, I'm going to hit record, which I have set to a one bar count in. And we'll just get going. I'd like to begin with a bang. It is it. I'd like to... Really that easy. If I want to undo it, I can do it. If I want to redo it, I can hold shift, undo, and it will come right back. Now, if I double click here, we can see that I recorded some MIDI data, except I want it quantized because I messed up. There you go. It's that automatic. Don't have to think about it. I'd like to begin. Now, if we wanted to record some automation, we can also do that. Just enable auto and go ahead and turn your knobs. Remember with complete control, there's no MIDI learning, nothing. It's all the essential parameters are already mapped out for all the amazing uh, Native Instruments products. I'd like to begin. And there you go. It's really that easy. Now I can actually just come in and bounce to different products. So maybe I want to go ahead and load up a piano and play along. Of course, you can use the smart play features, chord set mode in this case. Etc. So very easy to come in and just access and basically use everything you would like. Now, you can also go ahead and access any instruments inside of Cubase. So for instance, maybe I want to load up something like the amazing pad shop. Oops, let's make sure that's not record enabled. And of course, complete control is an amazing MIDI controller as well. So all I would have to do, maybe I want to route the filter to this knob, learn CC by right clicking, 
And there you go. And you can dial in as many knobs as you want. Just simply right click and turn a knob. Save your templates, set up, rename the MIDI CCs at whatever you like. Now also don't forget that you have a mod wheel. As well as the touch strip. So the touch strip can be assigned to anything. Maybe you want to have it as this, uh, like a crossfader between these different layers. Whatever I like. So honestly, these are the essential controls that you would want to get up and running recording music inside of Cubase without having to kind of mouse around, just having instant control over everything you need right from here. Mixer, everything. I love it. Great addition as well. I like